What's going on, everybody? Dan, I'm filtered. Check me out. The title fucked me up. I was, I was reading it on YouTube. It's But this is uh, From Ashes to New, featuring Caitlin DeVille. I don't know who that is, but we're going to find out. And they're covering Paramore's Decode. Interesting. Interesting. I've heard a few of their songs. They're absolutely fire. Panic was crazy. Heartache, good. Side effects, I think it was called. Kind of throws me because it's not... Sign effects, right? Sign effects, whatever. They had a, quite a bit of good songs I've heard. And they also, I heard a the Christmas song. Mariah Carey's song. They did it way better. It was nice. Now let's see how they do Paramore's The Code. Which is low-key, like, I won't call it iconic, but it's a big fucking song. Let's see how they do. Hit like, subscribe. Vince, I appreciate you, homie. If you guys have any requests, hit me up. There should be stuff to click. Unless I got baked and forgot. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, you're not a son of one. This is an awesome song. Yo, that's all that matters for the most part in this song is can you hit the how did we get here? Because she absolutely belts it into a high register perfectly. It's like piercing the sky. I was I was a little worried. I'm like, or I thought he may do it and go harsh vocal for it and make it his own twist. No, he went for the note. He went for it. Such a good song, man. The truth is hiding in your eyes, and it's hanging on your tongue. It's just boiling in my blood. But you think that I can't see what kind of man that you are. If you're a man at all. When you do covers, when you when you hear covers, or if you were doing a cover, for example. Would you stay true like they did with the lyrics? Or would you turn that man into a woman to m match your uh, preference? You know what I mean? Because I've seen it happen both ways, but you, most people stick stay true. But I've heard some covers where people will mix uh, like girlfriend and boyfriend, stuff like that, in a song to make it work. Me personally would probably switch it if it can still flow, but it doesn't matter. Just, just asking. Just asking. But man, hearing this, it's been a while since I heard Decode by Paramore. But man, it, it, it just, I forget how good that song is. It's really good. P probably my favorite Paramore song. I've only heard the, their mega hits, but that's probably my favorite one. Such 
See, when it said featuring Caitlin DeVille, I was expecting there was a chance that maybe she's singing the chorus. So he doesn't have to go for that high... What's up, man? So she would, he wouldn't have to go for that high register. But nah, she's a violinist, and he absolutely crushed the chorus. This part. What we've done Gonna make such fools Of ourselves Pissed off. It's time. Fucking God, they, they obliterated that. You could not have done a better heavy version of that song. Is any heavier and it loses its essence that kind of makes it special? But it was just heavy enough to make it feel quite different from the original. Like I liked his ad libs. Like he would he would do like a little miniature scream here and there. And he didn't do much harsh vocals in the song. He saved it for a couple lines, again, here and there, which I liked, because, again, this song, you kind of, you could do the chorus with harsh vocals to kind of make it your own and not reach for that fucking note. But that song is kind of made by that, that boom fucking note. He went for it, drilled it, and then he used the harsh vocals for the final, for the finale. He got pissed off right when we needed him to get mad. Perfect. Perfect. That was awesome. That was awesome. I will say, no offense to Mrs. DeVille, did we need her? Did we need her? You know, a lot of times I'm a big advocate for adding strings in uh in songs. It usually brings a whole other dynamic. This this didn't really. It felt like she just got tossed in here, <laughs> and then just did her thing, and then was just out. It wasn't bad, but I wouldn't say it made the song much better. It was okay. Now, if she would have stuck around for the, throughout the song, it was kind of like some strings in the background kind of going with it, and then she had her solo, maybe, maybe, but she was kind of, she was absent and then just had that solo and then was just absent again. Didn't need it. The, the gentleman kind of just fucking crushed that song. I also liked how uh, they had moments where the guitar was like a deeper register than Paramore's, and it just... Just gave it uh, in the mud, in the dirt type of grimy feel. That was fantastic. And I think, Vince, I think you sent me another cover from them. Let's check this out. Ooh, I am intrigued. If you are still here, I think it's an Avenged Sevenfold cover. Ooh. A real one. Oh, shit. 